also. You should probably do oh, it. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, it's going to happen again. It's oh, no. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Alabama Rabbit Review of the Rhino. Cartoons here to make fun of Alejandro, apparently. Everybody has to pee, yo. I don't pee. But everybody, everybody has to pee. I don't pee. Everybody has to pee. It, it comes out of my pores. Every, everybody has everybody <laughs> has to pee. Today we're drinking a beer from Alora Brewing Company. This is Origin Premium Lager at 4.3% alcohol by volume. Look at that. Look at that. General Fluff Nugget. Leave Ali Alejandro's cup alone. Why is your back wet? <laughs> I was not involved. No, I think you might have been. No. She. It's usually because Boris took a drink and she's taking a drink and Boris has the jowls. Generally so drooling everywhere. It's not drool, drool as much no, as you know water I mean, falling the everywhere. Yeah. The, the flappity flappity? Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, look, she found a rope. Oh, good. That's the rope I pulled out of the couch saying, this isn't a pig ear. It's a rope. Uh, sorry, what, what was this? This is from Alora Brewing Company in uh -huh. Alora, Ontario. Yes, course, yes. It is their wow. Origin Premium Lager. Look at how delightfully clean that looks. Yeah. Premium Lager? Premium Lager. Wowzers. Well, what? Mm. I will quickly be replaced by my dump. Here, you can take the uh, butthole with you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So what are we drinking? What you're what? drinking? Alora Brewing Company's Origin Premium Lager. Oh, this looks like a lager. It does. Oh god, does but it does. But it does have some nice active carbonation. Yes. Right. Yeah, it's a straw color. It just, it just do that. Like, this, this is lighter than like you know, like Heineken. And, that like, has a little bit of a snap crackle pop. It actually smells like a Heineken. Like it has a skunkiness to it. It's like. Riesling yellow. Did you smell it though? It's 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 skunky. It's skunky. Ooh. Even even out of a brown bottle. So they awesome. probably they probably used a, a heavy water like a sulfuric water. I, I, I should say. Oh, that's fun. Helga, I don't like you pressing your body up against me like this because I can feel puppies moving inside you. Stop right. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this tastes like summer. 100%. Why Okay, so again, uh, we do have to bring this up every once in a while. Uh, anyone that comes to review with me has to get used to drinking beer is not cool. Mm -hmm. And um, so. this is this is this is room temperature. Um, no faults in it. <laughs> not at all. No, but you can already see if this was cold, this would just fly down. Holy there. shit! Yes. I really because this is not 17% alcohol. Okay. Because there is almost no flavor to it right now. So if it was cold, there'd be nothing. It would just, it would just fly. This would fly down your throat faster than Xenomorph's eggs. Yeah, you could, you could chug one of, like, two of these before you get to the pool. That was a horror sci-fi reference. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> anyway, um, this is good. Yeah, it is. It's uh, a little bit of straw, a little bit of green, a little earthy. If you, uh, if you drink Corona, just uh, rethink your life. Yeah, because this is way softer, way less soda watery, and way better. Yeah. Fluff nugget. Hello, Colleen. How are yeah. you? Yeah, you would have to call her Colleen because uh, no puppy. Hello, Helga. It's a good lager. I Jesus can't say Christ. it's not. This is a good beer. This is a good that's beer. A, that's a good pig ear behind us. Clearly, Bar Bar doesn't even want to right now, so he's just like he's mesmerized. Yeah. So, uh, in all honesty, we've had a couple loggers today, and they've all been good loggers. And a lot of times, a craft yeah. brewery doesn't do a logger right. They over hop it, or they over malt it, or they these have yeah, all they, been really well balanced loggers. Like you, pretty much like, to, to to make a good logger, you pretty much have to like pretend you're not doing much. Yeah, well, that's the thing, right? Like, it, a logger's a hard thing to do because it doesn't hide faults and shit like that unless you're... No, yeah, not at all, yeah. Like, there's no over flavoring. Yeah. 
But, I mean, in all honesty, the, the truth of the matter is that the big guys usually do a lager better because a, 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 just an average lager should have almost no flavor. It well, should have yeah. some flavor, but not. Because, because lager, lager is like the, the flavor like most people like because it's no flavor. It's, it's the most neutral. The yeah. most subtle. And they spend millions of dollars researching it to the point that they have it perfected. And they have like chemical like advantages that get them to like make this on like, macro scales. But for a crap brewery to be pulling this shit off, we've, man, we've had these lollies from today. They've all done them well. They've done yeah, them right. Absolutely. Like I remember when, like the first crap lager I had, I had it was just all hops. Yeah. And then, and then like, well, craft guys want this. Well, no. Every once in a while, the, you want to support a local brewery, but you still want to just have. That it's something you can share with everybody. And it's not even that, it's it's about respecting the style. Whatever would regardless of what the style is, if the style requires no taste, then so be it. Like there is no you don't have to put chocolate in a freaking lager, right? So it's like Mind you though. There was, is, a, there, was, there was a point where when craft people were doing lagers, they were pretty much just like wet toast. Yeah, because it's like yeah. the thing they care about the, about the least. Here's, right? here's more flavor, more flavor, more flavor. No, I don't want that actual flavor. This is fantastic. You know, whatever this is, is beautiful. If you're telling me this is a craft beer, yeah. that tastes better than your, like, your average like Rolling Rock steam whistle, mm -hmm. then dude, this is fantastic. Everything. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Origin uh, Alora Origin Premium Lager. I'm going to give that a 7.5, and it's only a 7.5, I'm talking well about it, but I'm giving it a 7.5 because I don't really care for this style, but I would buy this. There's there's things I could do with this. This would be something I could share with my dad, something I could share with my mm -hmm. uncle, my, my grandfather, mm -hmm. uh, people that drink beer but don't drink my beer. Because yeah. this has more flavor, so this will bring them into wanting to drink more stuff, but at the same time, it's something I can enjoy. Yeah, it's a, it's a gateway for sure. I would, I, I'm going to give this an A25, because if I'm in the mood... And I happen to see this on the shelf. I'll put a bunch of those in my on my on the basket. Put yourself over there. Honestly, as like a that. lager, a lager should be balanced and easy to drink. As a lager and as a balance, a ten. As a beer, it's going to be a seven five because this is just going to be something I want to look out for and buy again and drink a lot of. Think about it. Think about it. Summer, thirty million degrees outside. Done. And uh, your buddy has a pool. Oh, we're going to you want house? you want to yeah we're going to silence house <laughs> yeah pretty much yes yeah. Boda uh, Svoboda Oasis I won't be able to attend this year.